I see the Hizmet movement as a peaceful social movement really based on deep thinking and thoughtfulness. responders. I'm Diane Christman. I'm a senior vice president for a national educational nonprofit that serves the uh, telecommunications industry. I admire the Hizmet movement um, because I really strongly believe in the core tenets uh, tolerance, dialogue, interfaith dialogue, uh, service, and education. And I think that anytime you can gather a large group of people around those kind of core focuses and core values, uh, that that's always a positive and good thing. I'm an admirer of Mr. Gulen. I, I've had a chance to read some of his writings, and um, he strikes me, most importantly, as a deep thinker and a thoughtful person. Um, someone who has taken the time, I think, to study the world and to study people. And I think that this is very apparent um, uh, in his writings, and again, um, how he has expressed that in the core values of his thinkings and the movement. Um, I'm definitely an admirer. He's a, he's a strong, deep, thoughtful person. I think that the Hizmet movement has um, many contributions uh, in promoting common good and, and in helping people. Um, think about the nonprofits that were established. Um, I was able to actually visit a couple of those nonprofits. Um, and they serve people all over the world and people who uh, are not necessarily of the Muslim faith or residents of Turkey. I admire that. Um, I also appreciate the emphasis on education and um, the opportunity to provide education to many people um, and to provide scholarships uh, for students. Um, and again, not just looking at one segment or one religion to provide educational opportunities to. My understanding of Islam is that it's a warm and giving and loving religion. And I think that if you look at the core values of the Hizmet movement, that they align perfectly with Islam and any religion, for that matter, um, and any kind of 21st century person. As a Western person and a person exposed to the Western uh, media and press, uh, I think that the differences um, that I see most often from the Hizmet movement and other religious or social movements in the Muslim world, um, of course, is an emphasis on uh, discussion, dialogue, tolerance, interfaith, and a willingness uh, to be open and to share this, and a willingness to welcome people from outside the Muslim faith um, uh, into kind of the world of Hizmet, and to uh, share a broader understanding of the core values. Um, I see the Hizmet movement as a peaceful, social movement um, really based on deep thinking and thoughtfulness. Um, I see it as a very modern movement um, and certainly very thoughtful as opposed to a reactionary uh, type of social movement. I think that dialogue is important no matter who you are, what you are, what you believe, or what religion you are. I think that in the 21st century, that dialogue, which I align with diplomacy, 
uh, dialogue is the most important thing that we can do as citizens of the 21st century. Um, the world is a very large place, but at the same time, because of technology, it's a, it's a much smaller place than it was 30 and 40 years ago. And that makes dialogue, especially interfaith dialogue, uh, so important. Um, I, 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 I truly believe uh, from, my, from the bottom of my heart that dialogue is the most important thing for a government, for a religion, and for citizens of the world it's to engage in. Um, dialogue leads to greater understanding and with greater understanding I think comes um, peacefulness and uh, respect and tolerance. Any kind of focus or uh, lifting up of dialogue, especially interfaith dialogue, I think is crucially important um, always, but especially uh, in this day and age. I truly believe strongly that the Hizmet Movement is uh, a force for peace and contributing to world peace. Um, with the, with, the, with the, the core values of, of dialogue and tolerance and interfaith dialogue, uh, that's, to me that is a clear, a clear, clear road to peace. I really admire Hizmet's emphasis and focus on education. Um, education is key. Education, I believe, uh, is power in the good sense, and education um, is part of, of, of being, it's part of freedom. It's part of it, it, being an educated person, I think, is part of being responsible and being socially responsible to yourself, your family, your faith, your country. Um, I admire the emphasis that they place on education and scholarship and the fact that they're willing, that the movement's willing to build the schools and fund the schools. I think when you have a movement um, that has a framework in religion and they are offering educational opportunities and building schools that are secular um, and making these opportunities um, available to all, how can anybody question this? What is there not to understand? And to me, it seems like it is a very strong and visible representation of what the movement means. And, and that is dialogue, interfaith tolerance on a road toward peace. I think the charity activities supported by the Hizmet movement um, are admirable. I think they're important. Um, and I think it's important and I think it's neat that they uh, are supportive. They send volunteers to people outside the Muslim community and they serve people uh, Muslims and people outside the Muslim faith. Uh, to me, that is, that's philanthropy and altruism in the truest sense. And I think that, uh, and I did, I had the opportunity to visit a couple of these nonprofits in Turkey. One in particular um, uh, was a nonprofit that, I, I guess they were like responders to natural disasters and got to tour the facility um, and see the, the shelters, the food packs. I've been in the nonprofit world for more than 20 years and I was really impressed. Uh, I was impressed by the mission, by the resources that had gone into supporting this. If you look at the charitable efforts of the movement, they're true and they're genuine. I don't know the full story of what's currently going on in uh, Turkish politics. Um, I do think it's, it's very disappointing um, that the Prime Minister, in my opinion, using Mr. Gulen as a scapegoat. I think that, I mean, let's, let's look at it this way. Democracy is messy, and Turkey is a young democracy. Um, and there's always going to be challenges. At the same time, I think that uh, change is frightening um, for people. Uh, I don't think it's an excuse to, to slander somebody, disavow a movement that is uh, clearly focused on only doing good things and um, benefiting people.
and trying to bring the world closer together. Um, it's a disappointment, but I'm a strong believer that in the end, um, the truth and good triumph and prevail and, uh, and, that, and that they emerge. The interesting thing about a democracy is you have so many ideas that float around and that you have to have the belief and the trust that the people who are listening to this, uh, listening to the information and listening to some of the propaganda, um, you know, you just have to trust that, that uh, they have the understanding and um, they're going to ferret out the information and the, and the propaganda and make the best decisions and um, have a good understanding of things. I think that all kind of relates to a strong emphasis in dialogue and, of course, in education. I think we have to make sure we understand that, that uh, this movement is a, is a movement of peace, a movement of education a movement of helpfulness, of support, no matter where, it, where it's taking place. I think uh, that the Hizmet movement is making a tremendous contribution to world peace, and I think that uh, Gulen ins has inspired them to, to be concerned about world peace. Thank you.